Welcome back to OMG The Cloud. Today we're working on some lab infrastructure build out and we're gonna focus on building a virtual firewall. This is gonna be the core routing and packet inspection for your lab infrastructure. And this is based on the PFSense open source package. It's lightweight, it's reliable, and here it is. So go ahead and grab this, get it installed. It's pretty easy to do. And this is gonna be, um, we're gonna kind of work backwards a little bit. I wanna show what the end result is. We'll then bounce back and step through in this series how to actually deploy this, configure it, get you to this good running state. You can have VLANs, we're gonna have uh, a HA proxy, uh, we can use SSL certificates that are free and auto rotate with Let's Encrypt. This is all a really good place to start and it'll set your lab environment up for success. We're gonna use traditional LAN, WAN, and then we'll have a servers and DMZ network interfaces. The inside networks there will be defined by VLANs, so you'll get some experience with touching VLANs. And the outside WAN, which traditionally would be internet facing, but in your lab, it's gonna be facing into your own personal LAN. So we're gonna to have to do a little bit of configuration on there that's outside of what the firewall would normally expect out of the box. We need to allow certain types of network segments in that normally would not exist on the internet. Those are called bog-on networks or private networks. These are network address spaces that are not valid on the internet. So typically you'd block those on a WAN interface, but in a lab, you need to let those in because your, your WAN is your LAN, your real LAN. So once you get that deployed in your virtualized environment, uh, I recommend VMware ESXi. You can use other hypervisors as your preference. You're gonna to wanna to get that configured. Basically, you're gonna set it up with two network interfaces. One of them is gonna to touch your traditional LAN in your actual home network. The other side is gonna be a dedicated network that is going to act as your inside network inside your virtual infrastructure. Again, with VLAN tagging, we can separate things out nicely and do some routing and have some separation inside. One problem that comes up, I wanna to touch on early on here because you're gonna get stuck on this if you uh, haven't already done this. Traditionally, when you're configuring a firewall, you're gonna, by default, be on the LAN inside of the network. In this case, you're gonna end up on the outside because you're going to, remember, your, your WAN interface in this virtual firewall is gonna be on your actual physical LAN, and therefore it's going to be outside of your network. So you're gonna be blocked from ever getting in to configure the thing. It's actually pretty simple to get in, so let me just show you how to do that without driving yourself too crazy. Let me go ahead and pop on over to the PFSense console. So once you get once you get a base installation going, all you really need to do is turn off packet inspection briefly. And this is essentially gonna turn your firewall into a layer three router. It's not going to do any sort of blocking or anything like that, it's just gonna route. So in order to hit that WAN interface from your LAN, uh, which you can see if you're, if you're looking at my screen here, a 192.168.2 network, that's on the WAN, we need to first get that disabled. Now I've already done this, but let me step you through it. It's pretty simple. So we're gonna go into the shell, option eight, and we're gonna do pfctl space dash D. This is going to disable packet filtering, pf disabled. From, from here, we're able to hit that WAN interface via browser and we can configure it. So once we're in, this is where you'd land. What you need to do is go in and configure a couple of things. Let's go to interfaces, let's go to WAN. You're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. By default, these two are gonna be check marked on the WAN side. You wanna uncheck these as I have them here. This is going to be those private network spaces, those bog on network spaces. You need to allow those in because that's the space we're operating in in a lab environment. Hit save, hit apply, and then let's head over to the firewall rules. While we still have packet filtering disabled, we need to make sure we can allow ourselves in from the WAN side. So go to firewall, go to rules, go to WAN, and I've already configured this rule here. Let me step through what this does. By default, it's gonna be a pass action. It's gonna be on the WAN interface, IP4 namespace, protocol, TCP is fine. Source will be any. Destination, this needs to be WAN address. So this is going to allow traffic specifically to the WAN address or the IP address on that interface and we're going to allow just 443, just so that we can get in uh, to this web interface. You can label it something descriptive. I call it WAN access to PFSense on web UI. And go ahead and hit save and apply. This will have already re-enabled packet filtering in the background. So if we go back and check, do pfctl space dash E to enable, 
it'll say PF already enabled. So that's good. When it reloaded the filters, it re-enabled it. So it really wants packet filtering re-enabled. This is definitely a temporary measure. If all went well, you should still be able to navigate around the web interface of your PFSense firewall. Uh, from here, I'd like you to do one more thing. Go to System, go to Package Manager, and you're gonna wanna install VMware Tools. This comes in the form of Open VM Tools, assuming you're running on VMware. This will provide better experience to the virtual machine for that abstracted hardware layer. So that's the basic starting point here. This gets us to a greenfield configured virtual firewall. And in the rest of the series, we're gonna take a quick step back, walk through the installation process, a little bit more deep dive on the configuration, and get this ready to go for prime time in your lab. And then we'll step into some other pieces. Thanks for watching.